The Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library is looking ahead tonight to the 70th anniversary of the Brown versus Board of Education ruling with a pair of special exhibits. Brittany Keegan with the library's Alice C. Sabatini Gallery is our guest today, along with Michael Cates of the Black American Blueprint Collective. He's also a teacher here in town. Michael and Brittany, good to see you both. Thanks for sticking around yeah, and being with us a little bit late today because of that special report. Tell me about this special exhibit that's coming up. I know it's uh, going to be really dynamic and it's uh, our stories, African American Topeka before and after Brown and sorting out our race. Tell me about what we're going to see over there, Brittany. Sure. Well, it's it's a exhibit that was put together really to look at the communities uh, and the neighborhoods in Topeka that uh, were, have been here for so long and uh, pivotal in, in shaping the city as well. Um, Michael has worked with uh, the Black Collective for many years and they uh, put together this exhibit and this is something that uh, he, he should share that information, but the library was so excited about the idea and really being the place that when uh, people come to their library to see that local history as well. Yeah, Michael, it sounds like a culmination of a lot of years of hard work. Yeah, so the Black Collective formed several years ago with this mindset that we really wanted to tell our stories from our perspective. And so this exhibition really looks at uh, Topeka African American history going all the way back to the Underground Railroad to in the enslavement period. Uh, then, of course, we also look at the Exodusters. So in this exhibition, you're going to see the Exodusters. You're also going to see the different neighborhoods. A lot of people don't know there were at least uh, five to six African American neighborhoods. So you, of course, you had the Bottoms, you had Tennessee Town, you had Mud Town, uh, you had uh, Pierce Edition. So you're going to be able to actually explore those towns and actually look at the people that came before Brown v. Ward mm -hmm. and that really paved the way. And so this is something that we really wanted to talk about and make sure people understood that there were people uh, that were really focused on making sure there was integration here in Topeka well before Brown v. Board and of course afterward when they began to really um, cement and make sure that uh, equality was here in Topeka. And it's really an important part of our city's history, one that perhaps there's a generation living here now that really doesn't know much about this because they did, they weren't alive during that time or haven't studied it necessarily in school yet. So it's important for us to help keep that history alive. Yeah, since the exhibit's open on Friday, we've already witnessed some great conversations between family members, grandparents bringing grandkids in, parents and, and their children uh, about the history and about what they remember and, and how it resonates with them. Yeah. What do you think in terms of that as far as keeping that history alive and making sure that we continue to tell the story to other generations? So as a teacher, um, one of the things that 501 does, one of the things that Topeka School does, we really try to make sure our students understand uh, the diff different ethnic histories here in Topeka and across the United States. And so I think it's really important to be able to make sure our students understand this really rich history. And we're really excited to be able to share uh, with my students. And I want to just say hi to my Robinson Middle School students, and I know that they'll see this and they'll yeah. say something tomorrow. We've got some pictures that are a part of the exhibit we can show our viewers right now. This one right here. Uh, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Yeah, that's the Apex Gallery. That was one of the, so here in Topeka, there was segregation um, where African Americans only could only go to um, the African American designated um, theater. And so um, this is a picture of some school kids uh, hanging out in front of the Apex Theater. Uh, the Apex Theater was one of those hub places where um, they would have community events, uh, people would come together and have, they would have really just a good time. And of course, this was also a period where you had pictures and silent films that were taking place. And so it was a really good time for the uh, black community here in Topeka to really re relax. So fortunate that we still have these, these relics of history here. Now, what is this picture we're seeing? Of course, you, in this picture, you're seeing some school children who are attending I'm not sure exactly sure which school this is. It might be. Um, this is uh, Dr. Sheldon's kindergarten. Yep, Dr. Yeah, Sheldon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Yep. So you're this right. is Dr. Sheldon, and of course, Dr. Sheldon was very instru instrumental in uh, Tennessee Town, and so this is some of the students that would have uh, been attending that school in Tennessee Town. Here's another picture of Nick Childs. Tell me about Nick Childs and his history. Nick Childs was an entrepreneur. Uh, he owned the Plain Steeler newspaper. He owned several. He owned a hotel here in Topeka, Kansas. He was an entrepreneur. Uh, he was really w the one that cultivated uh, w what I call Black Wall Street here in Topeka. And uh, he was someone who really believed in um, 
making sure African Americans supported one another and his legacy is still continuing with a number of different people and things that we see in our community even today. Yeah, I got about 20 seconds here, Brittany. Just again, you all are very happy, I'm sure, to host this exhibit. Yeah, we're great, uh, so happy about it as being the local library where people come in to visit and can see this exhibit as well. There it is right there, and for information, folks, our stories, African American Topeka before and after Brown. It's open now, runs through May 19th in the Alice Sabatini Gallery at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. Uh, and it's sorting out race as well, examining racial identity and stereotypes. That's in thrift store donations, open Sunday, March 3rd, and runs through May 19th, also in the library's Sabatini Gallery. Uh, Brittany and Michael, thanks for being here and thanks thank for letting you. us know. And I'm sure you're going to get a lot of folks coming by to check things out. Well, thank you. We're excited about it. Okay, thanks and have a good thank rest you. of your day.